guys, happy Cricut Monday. And today what we're going to be doing, I thought this would be so much fun, is um, basically I want to show you how to upload a PNG image or a JPEG image um, into Design Space. That way you can upload your own images. Now first let's go over what a PNG image is, in case you don't know. A PNG image has a gray translucent background. So it really doesn't have a background and in design space, it's the best uh, image you can get because your Cricut will cut around that really cleanly, okay? Now, a JPEG image has a white background and you have to clean up that background or get rid of the background in order for you to get a nice clean cut, okay? So, I've already uploaded my uh, design space. So what I'm going to do now is just, um, basically this is how I make my stickers for my planner, is I go to Google Images and just search. So that's really what we're going to do. So I'm going to go up here at this little plus and open a new tab. And then right here in the search bar, I'm just gonna search um, clip art images of um, butterflies, okay? And a bunch of butterflies pop up, okay? So we'll click on that, and um, then you'll see, I'm gonna try to find you some that I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, now also, if you hover over these, they will show you the resolution of the image right here in that little box. It says this one is 589 by 424. And to get a really good image, you can do 200, but I wouldn't go under 200. I would really try to stay around 400. Um, and naturally you can go higher than 400. But, and sometimes also, don't be very careful with copyright issues. Um, I try to always upload something that says clip art or free or clip art library, something like that, because I think you would be fine if you were just using it for yourself and you weren't gonna, you know, put it out there. But if you're going to sell anything, you definitely don't want to get involved in copyright infringement, okay? So let's look here and try to find, okay, now this one, is, you can see what I'm talking about. It has this check, gray checkered background, and that is a PNG image. Um, and sometimes it will even say PNG right here in the title, but let's look at something we might want. See, this says free clip art image, okay? So that one would be really easy to do. Um, I think he's cute, let's use him. Okay, so we'll right click, and then we're going to save image as. And it says images, and we're just gonna put butterfly um, 10, because I have some other images already saved, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay, now let's look for another one. Well, she's cute, let's save her. We're gonna hit save image as, and we'll just say butterfly 11. Okay, now let's go and search for, um, I think owls, because I really love owls. I think they're so cute. So we'll just backspace some and just type in owls. Okay, and let's see what comes up. And then you get all these really cute owls. Oh, he's funny. He looks like one of them on Angry Birds. He's so cute. I might use him. Oh, but then he's cute. She's 
She's really cute. I think I'm think I'm going to click on her. Right click, save image. And then I'm just going to say Owls 10 because I have some saved on here already. And then I think I'm going to look for that one him. I think he's cute. Okay, we'll get him. Right click, save image. Al's 11 and we're going to save. Okay, so we're going to click back over on design space. And now this is how we're going to upload it to Design Space. Hit New Project, the circle with the plus. Okay, and then right here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see Upload right here. Click on that. Now you can either upload an image or a pattern fill and we are going to upload an image and you can see some of these other images I've uploaded I thought that was really cute and that one so we're going to hit upload image now you can either drag and drop your file here or you can browse your computer so I'm going to make mine a little smaller so I can get it off of my um, desktop so we're going to drag this one in Okay, now you can see right here, this has a transparent background, but it has white around it, okay? Now you can either save it simple, moderate, complex, or complex. So if you click simple, this is what you get. It changes it. It's not as detailed or vibrant. Moderately complex, it puts a little bit more in, and complex really makes it pop. So let me make this bigger so you can see it better. So I would always save it as complex, okay? So then right down here in the bottom corner, hit continue. All right, now, what we can do is this looks like this. So I think maybe we need to erase this around here because you have a magic wand in the left corner, an eraser or a crop. But if you're not sure what you need to do, here's a preview window. So if you click on the preview, it's going to show you, if you would send this to Design Space, it would literally cut a big square. So that's not what we want. So we want to go back. Okay. Okay, so what we want to do, this has that white area I was telling you about. So we know we want to click on our little... Uh, wand and then we want to click here and it turns everything checkered now if you go to preview it's going to show you that it'll give you a nice print then cut it's going to print that butterfly out beautifully and then it's going to cut around all these images so that's what we want so we'll go back here and We've already clicked on it, so that's exactly how we want it. So then we're going to go to continue, right bottom corner where it's green. And then you have two choices. You can do print, then cut, or just save as a cut image. You can save it as a print, then cut, or a cut image. I would always suggest that you save it as a print, then cut image, because later in Design Space, you can go in if you decide you don't want to print it, you just want to cut it, and change it into this cut. If you save it only as a cut image, you can't go back in design space and get all this beautiful color and detail. So this has got a green, see if you click on this, the green selects. So we wanna click on this, and we wanna save it as a print then cut, and then click save right corner bottom. Okay, and there he is, he's so cute. Okay, now we're going to upload another image. So you just go right here, upload image, click on that. Same principle, you can drag and drop or browse. I'm just gonna make my screen smaller 
and just drag it over here. So I'm going to upload this little girl here and make my screen larger again. And she's the same way he was, okay? Uh, so they're simple, moderately complex, and complex. She became a lot prettier. So I'm going to save it as a complex image and hit continue. All right, now if we want to see preview to see what it looks like, same thing. You're going to have to get rid of that white background. So she is more than likely a JPEG image. Some PNG images, though, will be like this as well. Uh, so always check your preview window, okay? So... Okay, so we'll go back here and we will click on our little magic wand and then we'll click in the background and it turns it all into that check it area, gray check it area. I hope you can see. Um, I'm hoping to have my iMac within the next two weeks, so I'm excited about that. Um, so anyway, it turns it into that and then it will give you a nice clean print and then cut. So then we're gonna hit continue the right corner Okay, so you see, here will be the print then cut, which is what we want, and then this is just the cut. So we're gonna save it as a print then cut, hit save, and what you really should do uh, is it has a name, so um, I'm in a tag, so you really should tag it so you can find it later. So I'm gonna put cartoon pink, um, girl butterfly, okay, and then save. Then I can find it later, okay, and then here she is, all right? Now we're going to upload our owl images, okay? So we're gonna upload an image. This time we'll browse, and we'll go to the desktop, and we will see, here's all of our little images. So we will do her, here she is. So we clicked on her, it puts it here, and we'll just click open. All right, there she is. Now she also has that white background. They're simple, moderately complex, and complex. So we'll continue, save her as a complex, now, we'll see with our preview window, I'd say we're going to have to erase the background again, and yes, we are. So, we'll just get out of there. And we'll come back here, we'll hit on our little magic wand, click in the background of what we want to be deleted. Now, sometimes you only have to click one time. This time I had to click all the way around it and then we're gonna continue. Then here's our print then cut image. We'll get all that vibrant color and her little eyes and her beak and her bow. This way we would have just got the cut image. Okay, so we're gonna save it as a print then cut and hit save. Okay, and there she is. Now we're going to upload one more image and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop, I think, this one. I'm gonna do this one that I did the other day. I just think he's so cute. Okay, here's his hat. I'll make him bigger. Now he is, they're simple, moderately complex, and complex. So we're gonna save him as complex. Hit continue at the right corner, okay? And I know I'm going to have to erase the background because I don't know if you can see it, but when I get my iMac, you'll be able to see some white there. Hit the little magic wand, then just click where you want things to go away, and then hit continue right corner, and there is our print then cut. It's highlighted with green around it. We're gonna hit save in the right hand corner, and there that is, okay. So now to get all these on here, all we have to do is hit new project. 
But say it's been a while and I don't remember or I had to close my design space, it's easy to find them. All you have to do is go to images right here, left corner, click on it, then go over here to filter at the right top, filter right here, click on filter, then you want to hit, it says my images uploaded free circuit Ac cricket access, you want to hit uploaded, And these will show all my recently uploaded ones. So I'm just gonna click on them, the ones I want, and it will put them. Then I'm gonna hit insert images right bottom in green corner, and it will insert them all on my screen. It is so easy. Now from here, you can do whatever you want to with them. You can make them as big as you want. It really doesn't matter. You can edit them, whatever you want to do. I think they're so cute. You could turn them into stickers if that's what you wanted to do. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. You really could do a lot. Okay, now if you'll look over here in the layers column, this little pink owl, she's a cut then print. This little boy butterfly, he's a cut and print. The girl butterfly is a cut then print. And this owl is a cut and print. So all you want to do, if you want to make it from here, all you have to do is just go right up here to make it. I'm not actually going to print these out and it will actually put them on the mat. Now I made these too big, they all wouldn't fit. So I could only get three of them on there. And then you would hit continue, but I'm not going to do that. But I am gonna save these. So to save them, you just click up here, right hand corner, right beside of make it. Right here. Hit save and project name. Um, Owls and butterflies. Cartoons and then just enter and it saves it. Okay. So I hope everyone found this very interesting and you learned something or maybe it was just a refresher for you. So come back next Monday and we'll make something else. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.